Oh. There we go. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the final series in our Tropicalia, final session in our Tropicalia and Beyond Dialogues in Brazilian Film History series. This is a counter histories program as part of Tate Films. Uh, star Cinema Program. My name is Carly Whitefield. I'm the Assistant Curator of Film at Tate Modern. And uh, this series is curated by Stefan Solomon, who no doubt you have seen through the last four days. Thank you so much to Stefan for bringing this series uh, to us. As it happens, we've had uh, Helio Odesica's Tropicalia installation on display for a year and a half. And it's been really wonderful to have this series to draw out a larger movement. Oh, are we out again? I can project. <laughs> We're back. Uh, to draw out, um, a, to draw a broader picture around the work, but also especially, and as we've seen in the last few screenings and even participation here, really actually highlighting a lot of the political context and the stakes um, of, the, of the context in which the works were made in the 60s, what happened, carried through through the 70s and even uh, the current situation. So I actually want to take a minute to thank all of the participants of the series over the last four days, all of our artists, producers, um, uh, live, live uh, voice actors, um, scholars who have joined us. It's been, it's been really insightful and we really appreciate all of your contributions. Um, I won't uh, talk too much longer because we have uh, an introduction from Stefan and also a statement from uh, Noel to Newton, Nunes. Uh, so I will pass it over to Stefan. Um, and before just giving one last thank you to uh, our AV team today, Lori and Michael, uh, through the weekend we've also had Lauren and Sebastian that have helped us, uh, and Marius uh, Posirak, who is the AV coordinator, who. Without them, this series could not have happened. Thank you to Maria Gibert and uh, uh, Lisone, uh, Andrea Lisoni. Thank you, and I'll pass it over to Stefan. Hello, and uh, welcome, and thank you for joining us for the final session of this program. Um, it's been a really enjoyable few days, I think we can all agree. Um, and it's nice to be finishing off, I think, with this film. Um, I'll just say a quick few words maybe to contextualise uh, the film and to say um, why it's part of the program. And then uh, the co-director, Noilton Nunes, as Carly said, will give uh, a statement um, about the background of the film and its relevance for um, Brazil today. So uh, this film, O Rei da Vela, The King of the Candle, uh, emerges from a play written by the Brazilian modernist writer Oswald de Andrade. Um, was written uh, basically after the, crash, the Wall Street crash in 1929. He wrote the play between 1933 and 1937, but it wasn't performed again, uh, it wasn't performed at all, rather, for another 30 years until Teatro Oficina, um, a theatre company in Sao Paulo, uh, started by José Celso Martínez Correa, performed the play in 1967. Uh, they continued to perform in 1971. Uh, the, the, the play was filmed as a piece of filmed theatre um, and was uh, edited. Uh, but in 1974, as Celso was arrested and sent into exile along with the negatives of the film, he didn't arrive back in Brazil until several years later. And in the early 80s, he recruited uh, Noilton Nunes to help him to edit uh, the existing footage into a finished film, which not only featured the uh, footage of the play itself, but also various other formats and materials. You'll see video, uh, contemporary video, but also home video footage of Noilton. You should really look out for uh, scenes involving Noilton as a, as a young child, which are particularly interesting, and of uh, the Celso's family footage as well, um, and footage of protests and other materials. Um, I'll, just, I'll just say as well that uh, this, this uh, will be preceded by um, a short film, Triumph for Hermetico, by the artist Hubens Gertschmann. Uh, Rubens Gutschmann is famous for a lot of different artworks that he created, one of which was uh, the portrait Lindonea, sometimes referred to as the Brazilian Mona Lisa, and you heard the song uh, playing before the film started, Lindonea by Nara Liao from the album Tropicalia. Rubens Gutschmann also designed the cover of that album, of the Tropicalia LP, um, so he's perhaps best known for that work, but here we also have a beautiful short film. Um, uh, filmed in Rio de Janeiro, which has a connection, an interesting connection, I think, with Ore de Vela, too. I won't say any more because uh, Noilton will speak, and then we'll also have some time for a Q&A afterwards. This is the longest film in the program, 
uh, but it will still allow us a few minutes at the end to maybe discuss a bit with Noilton, um, who it's, I mean, it's amazing that he's able to be here. I only discovered through Facebook that Noilton was actually in Scotland um, and has been in Scotland for the last couple of months. His daughter um, was there in Edinburgh and him and his wife went over to support her in the final stages of her pregnancy. So it's very fortuitous that he was um, so close to us and is able to be here um, to join us to introduce his film. So without further ado, please welcome Noilton Nunes. I made this dish, but I don't want to, to eat. I want to see the, the film with you now. Uh, the only thing I will make when the film begins, I will make the fire in this yeah. candle. Only after we can talk a little more. I will put it in the Facebook and I ask you to compartment. <laughs> <laughs> 